Hey everyone, can you believe we've made it to the end of 2022? Everyone take a deep breath. We've all experienced new things, connected with new people, accomplished goals, learned from mistakes, grieved relationships, and taken a few next steps. All of that is worth celebrating, but it can be a bit overwhelming, right? Like where would you even begin sifting through it all? Well, around here, and for the last few years, we've been doing a reflective practice at the end of each year called the Great Annual Examine, a helpful tool developed by spiritual director, Stephen W. Smith. It prompts you to ask powerful questions that will help you notice God in every circumstance in the past year. Looking back will help you to know what to bid farewell to and what to carry with you into the next year with greater intention and expectation. The examine is like a guide, leading you to moments not worth missing. So linger on the questions at an unhurried pace. Be slow to answer. In fact, this can be spread out across a few hours to a few days. Here's how it works. Each question will help you evaluate five major life arenas. Your physical, emotional, relational, vocational, and your spiritual health. So grab a journal and maybe a trusted friend and take some time to work through these questions slowly. With each category, the question will be on the screen for you to pause and work through at your own pace. The first section is a set of 10 general but intentional questions that will help you set the tone by reflecting on this past year. So here are the questions. Pause the screen and press play when you're ready. Oftentimes, we move so fast, arguably too fast, that pausing to process actually feels really unfamiliar, maybe even uncomfortable. My hope is that as you continue with curiosity of what God is doing in your life, you would grow in greater awareness that helps you connect to yourself with God and with others deeply. So this next section is about the five categories of your life spread across just under 30 questions. Pause the screen until you work through each of them. How was this experience been for you? Our culture is so quick to move on to the next thing. There's value and beauty in slowing down our pace to resting, reflecting, and releasing the last year with unhurried presence. This is what God invites us to daily. Let's end with a prayer of gratitude, a practice called the Appreciation 111. We want to be people who are never too hasty to give thanks to God. Gratitude is actually so powerful that it opens people up to relationships. So the next time you feel distant from God or tension with a friend or simply want to connect intentionally, try the Appreciation 111 practice. One thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours, one thing you're specifically grateful for about a person, and one thing you're grateful for about God. Use this as your prayer to end this time of examination, either sharing with a friend or even writing it down in your journal. When you take time to look back at what God has done, you can find meaning and encouragement from last year 
and see how he wants to walk with you into the next one. It's worth the time to look back and see how you got here and where you wanna go next. So here's to a new year of intention and purpose.